Hello everyone, my name is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable PHP extensions through the WHMC panel. We're actually going to do this through Easy Apache because if we were to make any changes to the server directly, our cPanel will overwrite those changes over time. So in order to enable any of these extensions, we first need to see what type of extensions do we need to enable. Since I am installing Magento, I already know which extensions I need. I also have a Magento checklist which is basically telling me which extensions I need to enable. So to proceed, I'm going to go to my cPanel. To log into your cPanel, simply go to https colon forward slash forward slash your IP address colon 2087. Once you are here, you are going to go and scroll down to where it says software. Click on this link. Once on this page, you're going to want to click on Easy Apache. Now you're going to want to go with the previously saved config in order to prevent any, uh, losing any changes that you've made previously. Click on Start Customizing Based on Profile. Now I'm going to stick with Apache 2.2.27 because uh, this is currently supported by uh, Magento. As for the PHP version, I'm going to downgrade because I am not interested in patching my Magento installation. And now here, this is the short list of extensions. Since most of the extensions won't be on this list, I will go on to the exhaustive options list. Once on the exhaustive options list, I'm going to look for what I need to enable. For example, I need GD, I need MCrypt, I need PDO and PDO underscore MySQL. Then I simply scroll down and I click on save and build. And now I click OK to recompile Apache and PHP now. And I click on I understand. And now my new Apache configuration is being built. Okay, so my build is complete and now I can save my new configuration and I can close. And now when I go to my Magento system requirement checklist, everything is there. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos and also visit creatingawebstore.com.